them have split leaves or merong mga um, hiwa hiwa <laughs> tao dyan. Doesn't mean na, ha na magkasing level na sila. And yun, ang masasabi ko lang, wag mag-ride lang sa hype. Um, of the epi... <laughs> of the epi... Ah. But I want you to be like smart buyers when it comes to plants. Uh, hi plant fam! This is Ayin and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna do a comparison. Um, I'm gonna share with you the similarities and differences between a Monstera Deliciosa and an Epiprenum Pinatum. Um, I decided to do this because there has been so much confusion between these plants, especially here in the Philippines. So this year, we've seen the increase in the demand for plants. Hindi lang naman siya sa Monstera, but as well as other plants. But then, these two plants, um, itong dalawang to are two of the most controversial, especially here in the Philippines, because there are sellers na they, um, either they intentionally sell an epiprenum for the price of a monstera, or they really don't know the identification of an epiprenum pinatum. So, ang nangyayari, they think that it's a monstera plant, that's why they market their product or their plants as monstera when in fact, it's an epiprenum pinatum. And hindi lang mga sellers ang nako-confuse when it comes to these two plants, pati na rin yung mga buyers because marami nga ngayon ang naging interesado with gardening or with, you know, taking care of plants. So, ang nangyayari, yung mga beginners, they get confused also kung ano ba yung difference ng monstera at ano ba yung difference ng epiprenum pinatum. And there are actually buyers who get scammed um, because they are not really aware of the differences. So, ang nangyayari, nakakabili sila ng epiprenum pinatum for the price of a monstera which is hindi talaga tama. So, I decided to do this video to help you guys out in case you're also confused between the two. We'll do side-by-side -side, um, shots of the two plants. And then, I'll also share with you some background information, facts about these two plants. Okay, let's start off with saan family ba sila belong? Actually, both of them belong to the Araceae family. So, hindi ko alam kung yun yung tamang pronunciation, pero isusulat ko siya dito. Ayan, ang Epipreno Pinatum and ang Monstera Deliciosa are both part of the Araceae family. But then, they are part of different genus or um, species, kumbaga. Okay, when it comes to their genus or yung species nila, Monstera is part of the Monstera genus and then ang Epipremnum Pinatum is part of the Epipremnum genus. So, so, isa sa mga pinsan ng Epipremnum Pinatum ay ang Epipremnum Aureum which is commonly known as Pothos. Pothos plant. So, yung mga Pothos plant, magpinsan sila nun. Ngayon naman yung Monstera, maraming different kinds of Monstera. Merong Monstera Adansonai, merong Monstera um, Dubia, Monstera Peru, ba? Maraming klase rin ang mga monsteras. So, when it comes to the family, they belong to one plant family. But when it comes to the species, to the genus, magkaiba sila. So, next, we will talk about the origin. So, saan ba galing ang Monstera Deliciosa? Okay, so when it comes to their origin, ang Monstera Deliciosa, it originated from South America and Central America, particularly Mexico and Colombia. Now, for the Epipremnum pinatum, this one is endemic in East Asia, particularly in the Philippines. So, meron ako nabasang article na nakalagay doon na na-discover or nag-originate ang Epipremnum pinatum noong 1908 or na-label siya as Epipremnum pinatum in 1908 here in the Philippines. But then, meron din ako isang nabasa na parang sabi doon na meron, meron din siyang parang Chinese something, heritage, whatever. Kaya nga siya tinatawag na Dragon's Tail. Yeah, I don't know which switch. But in general, Epipreno Pinatum originated dito talaga sa Asia. It's endemic here. That's why a lot of people say na marami silang nakikita ang Epipreno Pinatum also known pala as Tibatib dito sa ating bansa, dito sa Philippines. Um, na ito daw ay tumutubo lang sa kung saan-saan. So, minsan daw nakikita lang nila ito sa tabi ng kalsada or parang sa bukid, sa Alam mo yun, sa forest, ganyan. Okay, so that said, knowing their origin, kung saan bansa ba sila, or yung geographical location, kung saan sila nagsimula, dun pa lang, very different na sila, di ba? Now that we know those differences, we will move on to the physical attributes of the plants. I think what makes people quite confused about these two plants 
ay yung kanilang itsura because magkahawig naman talaga sila. Um, both of them have split leaves or merong mga um, hiwa-hiwa. <laughs> Ang tawag dyan. Ayan, may mga parang yung design ng kanilang leaves ay meron silang mga gaps or merong mga naka, ayan, hiwalay-hiwalay silang ganyan, ba? Diba? Yun yung pinaka, I think, pinaka-similar dito sa dalawang plants na to. But, even though pareho silang split leaves, kung makikita nyo sila side by side, makikita mo na magkaiba pa rin yung itsura ng kanilang splits or magkaiba yung itsura ng kanilang leaves. So, yung kay Monstera Deliciosa, makikita nyo na parang pa-curve siya. Okay, ipiprenumpinatum, mas straight and mas, um, hindi malaki yung gaps nung sa splits niya. Alright, so, aside from that, from the gaps or from, like, how the splits look like, magkaiba rin yung kanilang shape. So, si Deliciosa, si Deliciosa talaga, Si Monstera Deliciosa, makikita mo na yung leaves niya ay talagang parang heart, parang heart shaped siya talaga. Diba? I don't know if nakikita niya dahil tabi niya, pero, ayan. Heart talaga siya eh. While, si Peprenum Pinato, more on, I'd like to say, parang may pagka-oval. Yung kanyang, yung leaves niya. Mas oval yung korte. Diba? As compared to this one na parang pa-heart na may pagkapabilog siya. Lalo na pag side by side, mas makikita niya yung difference nilang dalawa. So ngayon, if you're gonna buy an epiprenum pinatum, tingnan nyo yung korte ng leaves, tingnan nyo yung kanyang mga splits or yung pagkakahiwalay-hiwalay ng, sa isang leaf, ganyan, yung gap. And those things might help you identify which is which, ba? Diba? Now, uh, may mga nagtatanong ano ba ang itsura ng so ano bang itsura ng um, baby na Monstera Deliciosa and how it differs from an epiprenum pinatum na baby pa rin kasi syempre pag baby pa wala pa yung split, wala pang fenestrations ang fenestrations pala ay yung butas sa leaf ng Monstera. So ito wala pa tong fenestration kasi um, ito yung akin survivor monstera. Ito yung muntik ng mamatay ko na monstera. So, lumalaki pa siya. Um, but I will show you my other one na meron ng fenestration, which is the butas-butas. Yung butas-butas niya sa kanyang leaves. Um, anyway, going back. So, ano nga bang difference ng itsura ng baby, baby epipremnum at baby monstera? Okay, I have here a juvenile epipremnum pinatum. So, ganito siya pag, pag juvenile form siya. It looks like a normal leaf, pero merong mga leaves na may mga splits na rin. But, again, tignan nyo yung korte niya. Diba? Very oval siya eh, yung korte niya. Ngayon, ang Monstera is, kahit baby pa siya, um, wait lang. Kahit baby pa siya, makikita nyo na nandun na yung parang heart shape, pagka-heart shape ng kanyang leaves. Also, when it comes to the leaf design, so kapag papakita rin ako ng shots, Yung si Epipremnum, mas um, kitang-kita yung kanyang mga veining as compared to a monstera, a, a baby monstera. Yung baby monstera, medyo mas makinis siyang tignan. So, yun, 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 yun yung difference between a baby monstera and a baby Epipremnum. Okay, another physical attribute na ma-point out ko is that when it comes to their aerial roots, yung aerial roots, yun yung roots na lumalabas sa kanilang mga stems or branches. So, yan din yung dahilan kung bakit sila vining plant or kung bakit sila, um, ano ba tawag ba? Dumidikit sa ibang plants like sa mga puno, kahoy, ganyan because of their aerial roots um, or sa soil, ganyan. So, mas pronounced ang uh, aerial roots ng Monstera Deliciosa. Mas kitang-kita nyo siya. Like this one. Oh. Ayan, may aerial roots na siya dyan. And actually, dumikit na to sa lupa. Binunot ko lang. As compared to Epiprenum Pinatum na medyo mas maliliit yung kanyang mga aerial roots. Mas maliliit siya. Hindi ko alam kung makikita nyo, pero di hamak na mas maliit yung mga aerial roots niya. Okay, so yun yung difference nila and similarities when it comes to their physical attributes. Sa totoo lang, magkaiba talaga yung itsura nila. Hindi ka pa nakakita ng Monstera in person, like in real life. 
Um, pwede ka talaga ma-confuse. Naintindihan ko naman where the confusion is coming from. But then, research is key. So, para alam nyo kung ano ba talaga yung difference nilang dalawa. And sana makatulong to na ma-identify nyo yung mga sinasabi kong mga subtle differences nila like when it comes to the gap of the splits and all that. Okay, gusto ko lang i-point out again when it comes to their physical attributes. Um, ang tignan nyo maigi is the shape of the leaf or the leaves. Again, the Monstera has more circular, heart-shaped leaves. And si Epiprem no, mas oval yung kanyang leaves. And this also goes kahit dun sa malaking Monstera na yung mga mature form. Yun lalo, mas malapad yung mga leaves nun. And mas makikita mo talaga yung shape niya, yung lapad niya. So it's something na talagang pag nakita mo, malalaman mo na Monstera siya. Kung ikukumpara mo siya sa isang like mature Epiprem nung pinatong. Now, moving on to the other characteristics of these plants. Both of them, they are epiphytic or they are vining. Tawag sa nila ay vining plants. So, pwede silang, pwede silang kumapit like sa pole or sa puno kung itatanim mo sila sa katabi ng puno. Um, pareho sila na may ganung karakteristik na pwede silang tumaas. Okay? Yung growth nila is pataas. Um, and I believe... Si Monstera umaabot siya hanggang 60 feet and si Epipremnum naman mga 45 feet. So almost magka-level lang sila when it comes to like kung paano sila as vining plants. So isa rin niya sa kanilang mga similarities. Pag nakakita kayo ng photo ng Epipremnum and ng Monstera na nakadikit sa puno, halos talagang yun, medyo magkahawig nga sila. Now, bakit nga ba naging controversial tong dalawang to dito sa Philippines? Na-mention ko na kanina sa intro na um, because of the demand for Monstera here in the country, there are people na talaga naghahanap silang ng Monstera plant to buy, di ba? And sometimes they see one online and unfortunately, there are sellers here in the Philippines who market their Epiprem ng Pinatum as Monstera. Kasi ang tawag dito actually, dito sa Pilipinas, may mga sellers na tinatawag ang Epiprem ng Pinatum as, yun nga, Tibatib, which is a local name. And yung iba, tinatawag itong native or local monstera. So, doon I think, lalong nagkakaroon ng confusion. Since nga, pag isip na ito, ah, naghahanap ako ng monstera, tapos may isang seller na mag-offer ng native monstera, and they have not seen like a lot of pictures, or hindi pa nila nadidistinguish yung difference ng dalawa. So, ang nangyayari is, napapabili sila ng native monstera, which is, Again, not really a monstera. It's an epiprem ng pinatum. And the main concern here is that, again, there are sellers who are marketing their epiprem ng pinatum as monstera and giving it the price of a monstera deliciosa, which is very, very wrong. Because, again, ang epiprem ng pinatum, it's endemic here in the Philippines. It grows like anywhere. Pwede siyang tumubo dito sa Pilipinas on its own, lalo na sa forest, sa wild, di ba? So, hindi mo siya pwedeng presyohan ng kagaya ng Monstera, which is, we know na um, not really common here in the Philippines. Hindi siya kasing rare as before nung mga past few years, especially marami ng mga sellers ang nakapagpatubo na ng kanilang Monstera plan, nakapagparami na, ba So, um, when it comes to rarity, or yung pagiging rare, hindi na ganun ka-rare ang Monstera Deliciosa dito sa Pilipinas. But, it doesn't mean na, ha na magkasing level na sila. Because again, ang monstera, hindi siya endemic dito. Endemic siya sa ibang bansa. And for sure, yung mga nakapagpatubo na ng monstera deliciosa dito sa Philippines, they are the ones na naging tedious yung process niyan. Hindi, for sure, bumili sila ng seeds sa ibang bansa or bumili sila ng mother plant or ng plants sa ibang bansa. And it took them years and years para makapagpalago makapagparami ng monstera. So, that in itself, of course, that will affect the pricing of the plant. Kaya, hindi talaga, it's not justifiable. Hindi pwedeng i-justify na, alam mo yun, magkapresyo silang dalawa. So, yan, just wanna point that out. Sana makatulong tong video ko, and since na-identify na natin yung kanilang similarities and differences, sana maiwasan na natin yung mistaken identity. For me, both are equally beautiful. Like, ako, sobrang natuwa ako nung binili ko to. Diba, nung um, in-include ko to sa isang vlog last December, sobrang 
Ang ganda-ganda niya. And that time, dami pa nga yung malaking leaves. Ngayon nga, oh, ang diliit na nung leaves niya. Masaya ako na meron ako nito as a plant collector. And masaya rin ako na meron ako Monstera Deliciosa. Um, as for the Monstera plant, again, the prices, the price of Monstera Deliciosa, Monstera Thai Constellation, they skyrocketed this year because of the demand. And um, for those who are thinking of buying, I'd say go and find the best deal that you can. Um, I'm not here to push you to just buy and buy. But I want you to be like smart buyers when it comes to plants. Um, if it's within your budget and talagang gusto mong magkaroon ng Monstera Deliciosa, then maybe go for it. Um, since nga sabi ko sa aking 10 easy care house plants, madali lang naman alagaan ang mga Monsteras. But if it's not within your budget and alam mo yung gusto mo lang magkaroon because it's hype or gusto mo magkaroon dahil merong ganto si ganto si ganyan, yung iyong mga nilo look up to in life, <laughs> di ba yung mga celebrities, big YouTubers ganyan. I'd say ano muna, um, maybe settle for a plant that's cheaper and then maybe let the hype die down a bit. Um, na medyo mawala yung hype, kasi for sure pag nawala na yung hype sa plants, mas I think I think naman mas magiging reasonable na yung mga price, kasi I can't believe na Ito actually, itong plant na to, binili ko to in 2018. And I believe I bought this for, um, I can't exactly remember, but 1,000, I think 1,500 to 2,000. I forgot. Basta doon lang siya. Sa presyo na yun. And then last year, also bought another Monstera Deliciosa for only 1,200 pesos. And that one's bigger than this. Because last year, wala pa yung hype. So, nag yung presyo ng plants, super different pa siya as compared to now. And yun, ang masasabi ko lang, huwag mag-ride lang sa hype just because it's hype, just because it's trendy. Matagal na naman ang trending to. I don't think it'll be out of trend soon. It's just that the prices now, grabe, sakit sa banks. Ito na naman ako sa banks. Wala naman akong banks. Parang ako, kahit plant buyer na ako or matagal na ako nagko-collect, hindi ko ma-justify yung mga pricing recently. So, ayun lang. But then again, if it's within your budget and you really like it, I'd say go for it. And then, wag is na bin. Don't be a plant snob. Wag is na bin si Tibatib or si Pipre ng Pinatum because maganda rin siya, guys. Lalo na yung mga malalaking leaves niya. Ang ganda. And also, yung mga, ju yung mga juvenile leaves niya, eh. Ang ganda din. Okay, guys. So, that's it for this video. Sana nagustuhan niyo tong video na to. Hope you find this helpful and interesting. And sana kung kayo ay isa sa mga taong nako-confuse between a Monstera and a, an Epipreneum Pinatum, sana nakatulong tong aking video for today. Um, medyo nagre-reflect na yung araw. So, yeah. That's it for this video, guys. I don't have anything more to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and join the plant fam. I don't have anything more to say. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys again in my next video. Bye!